Hello, I'm David Roger, General Counsel for Las Vegas Police, Police Protective Association. In this segment, I want to talk to you about warrantless entries based upon the community caretaking doctrine or, or the emergency assistance uh, doctrine. Uh, the U.S. Supreme Court case in 2006 decided the case of Brigham City versus Stewart. In, in that particular case, uh, uh, police officers responded to a loud uh, party at 3 a.m. Uh, officers uh, approached the residence, uh, saw some juveniles drinking uh, in, in the yard, and as they looked through the window, they observed a fight involving a, a juvenile and several adults. Uh, the officers observed the juvenile smack uh, one of the adults in the mouth, which caused the individual to uh, start to bleed. Uh, the fight uh, continued to ensue. Uh, the officers entered the residence to break up the fight and found some, some uh, narcotics uh, during the search. Uh, they did not have a warrant, they did not have consent, uh, but they entered the residence based upon the emergency. And the U.S. Supreme Court uh, held that uh, that entry was appropriately appropriate. Uh, the U.S. Supreme Court concluded that the warrantless entry w was proper because officers had an objectively reasonable belief that an occupant w was seriously injured or imminently threatened with injury. And, and that really is the community caretaking doctrine as uh, it relates to warrantless uh, entries. And, and so it, it is twofold. One it is that the officer has to have either an objectively reasonable belief that an occupant is ser seriously injured, or the officer has an objectively reasonable belief that uh, a person is being imminently threatened uh, with injury and that an officer's assistance is necessary. That is the emergency uh, doctrine, that is the community caretaking doctrine uh, as it relates to warrantless uh, entries. Uh, in the next segment, we'll talk about the Nevada Supreme Court's uh, decision which adopts uh, Brigham City versus Stewart. Thank you.